Hi, welcome to Moody Blooms. I'm Mary Ellen, and today we are going to discuss care instructions for the beautiful leopard plant. The scientific name of this plant is Farfugium japonicum. It is not often that you find such a stunning plant that thrives in shade and blooms. It is an evergreen perennial, meaning its glossy green leaves will stay green all year long. The large, round, leathery leaves get a wonderful texture and color variation. Its stunning, small, daisy-like flowers will bloom in fall and early winter. This plant gets its name leopard plant from some of the cultivars that have bright yellow spots. It is a clump forming perennial that is perfect for gardens as it is for its attractive foliage and autumn flowers. It's native to the streams and shores of Japan. You will want to place your farfugium in a brightly lit room with partial shade. Too much sun can actually burn the leaves of your plant. The leopard plant prefers moist soil and will start to wilt if it dries out. Native to the rocky coastal areas of Japan, it will require a bright, humid environment. This easy to care for and slow growing plant can reach a foot in height and an additional foot in width. Leaves are evergreen in winter climates in zones USDA 7 through 10, but will drop and die if they are in temperatures below 30 degrees Fahrenheit. They do best in tropical climates. This plant is not considered too hardy and doesn't tolerate below freezing temperatures or temperatures that are too high. Water regularly to maintain even moist soil. Avoid overwatering and make sure that your soil dries out completely. Leopard plants love fertile, moist soil that is well draining. A pH between 5.6 and 7.5 is suitable for leopard plants. Leopard plants love humidity. They love leaf misting every now and then. The leopard plant could benefit from fertilizer, a slow release fertilizer in spring. This spreading perennial grows in clumps and they can be divided in spring for propagation. Late summer and early fall is really when this leopard plant begins to shine. It sends up clusters of golden flowers that hover over its glossy foliage. This makes a striking combination of daisy-like blooms and tropical leaves. The dark green leaves themselves are interesting year-round and can transform a shaded area into a lush oasis. Leopard plants don't really have any big problems or pests. Slugs and snails can significantly damage the foliage, so make sure you keep an eye out for those. Even with adequate moisture, the leaves may wilt in summer, particularly when the plant is exposed to too much sun. Thanks so much for joining us on Moody Blooms. We hope you enjoyed this beautiful plant from Modern Garden. You can visit their website at moderngarden.co for their beautiful selection of plants. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time on Moody Blooms.